ladies and gentlemen, your first fight of the night is four three minute rounds for the next level fighting championship fight club middleweight title. Introducing first the fighter on my right fighting out of the blue corner. He is a freestyle fighter weighing in at 185 pounds. His record, 10 wins, 8 defeats, and 1 draw. Fighting out of Alpha Male, Sacramento, California. Give it up for Idris Wasi. And now his opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. A freestyle fighter weighing in at 185 pounds with an undefeated record of three wins and zero defeats. Fighting for fearless fighting systems, Virginia Beach, Virginia. He is an active duty Navy SEAL from SEAL Team 10, Finch Agia. All right, here it is, Andres Wasi, Mitch Aguiar. It's about to erupt right here. The gold is on the line in the middleweight division. I am joined here by Cyrus Fees. Brother, you got it together inside the cage there now. Sir, I appreciate it. Let's get, that, let's get that headset on. Let's get to work. Better wait title fight time, Mr. Oxendine. Four to three minute round, North Carolina rules. We have Mitch Aguiar getting a huge reception out here, Casey. Big time Patriot, SEAL team member. What can you say, man? You talk about a guy that is protecting our country, no doubt about it. The White Room is taking on Wasi. A tremendous prospect, no doubt. And of course, Wasi, this guy is a veteran of mixed martial arts, 10 and 8. But you know, sometimes those loss, those losses can uh, can be chalked up to experience, which creates a very, very dangerous opponent. No doubt about it, especially in the ang uh, amateur ranks. Let's take a look at Aguiar here working up against the cage. Dirty boxing there, nice right hand that just got through on Wasi. Two very talented fighters, undefeated. Mr. Aguiar. This could be a guy that you know, the next level is trying to push. To, to the next level. To the next level. 100%. <laughs> oh, there we go. Looking for the trip. Outside trip there by Mitch Aguiar. And completes the takedown there with the assistance of the cage. Aguiar. On top here. He's picking the majority of this fight. Oh, here we go. Already in the Iron Cross. Looking for that Iron Cross. That could be a lot of damage here. Inflicted on, uh, on Wasi. Wasi fighting out of Alpha Bell. So you know he has some incredible training, great coaches, and of course, great UFC talent that's inside that gym. So you know he's getting pushed every day he steps into the gym. But right now, he is on the bottom here. He's going to have to find some solutions. The Navy SEAL. That's huge. What a, what a big accomplishment to have in the next or next level fighting championship, like I call it. Great crowd here in Greenville, North Carolina. They silent once again. Our first event was a sellout crowd. I think we've done it again, Casey. It's a big, fantastic crowd out here that is hungry. A great crowd, but not hungry for, for some great food. They've already gotten that. The VIP experience here was outstanding. Uh, great catering brought in. And uh, next level always taking care of their, uh, their VIPs. And their staff, too, no doubt about it. Aguiar, man, just working on top. Not a lot of action here. He's yeah, he trying to get some strikes in, but nothing going. Not going for a sub attempt. You got Wayne Spinola looking on. You got to wonder if maybe a stand up here soon. Well, it's early in the round, so maybe they're going to give uh, Aguiar a little bit of time to, to work, but you're exactly right. He needs to, to get that work rate going and, uh, and get to moving here. Otherwise, we will have a stand up, no doubt. Look at the corner, the, the fearless fighting team, and of course, a guy that everybody knows on the national scene, uh, Kenny Johnson, yes. working with uh, Aguiar. So that's a great coach to oh, have as well as their head coach. Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. Of course, uh, Fabricio Verdun, oh, yeah. you know, going on uh -oh, to win watch the heavyweight out, title. Casey. Aguiar getting crazy, Things getting get busy here. Yes, working that ground and pound from that position. Pretty impressive, but he's raining down some pretty heavy shots. Well, Idris Wasi showing some composure there, uh, not losing it, even though he was taking a few shots, uh, making sure that that left arm stays out from under. The iron cross, the right knee of Mitch Aguiar, because, man, I'll tell you what, that could be curtains really quick. Absolutely. Opens you up for the knees and the elbows. I'm sorry, the punches and the elbows. Once again, Aguiar has been in control the entire fight here. A, a very high prospect in all the Carolinas. 
a guy that, you know, stepped away from active duty to, to make this fight. What a great accomplishment to have him here in Greenville. It's oh, here level. we go. Now possibly posturing up to land some big leather here. How about all these fighters from California from the different states that uh, Lamont Chapel and crew has brought in? Pretty well, impressive. absolutely. And, I mean, I can't believe Whoa, this. Whoa, watch is, out. These this is are... actually <laughs> the, the fight that kicks it all off. This is the first fight of the night. And this could have been a, a main event on, on sure. just about any card, any regional event across oh, the United States. As it comes to a close here, round one in the books. And 100%, that one goes to Aguiar. I believe he was on top for two minutes and 54 seconds. That's, <laughs> sky is the limit for that young man. As we get things started here, round number two of four rounds. That is the special North Carolina rules. Not five rounds, not three rounds. They like it at four. And Mitch Aguiar is bringing the, the heat. Pressure, Casey. man, continuing to put that pressure on. We really can't tell what Idris Wasi, the, the strategy is of Wasi because uh, he's getting stuffed by Mitch Aguiar in, in his pressure. Yeah, he's going to have to circle a little bit. And he obviously does not want to go back down to the right, ground. Here we Aguiar. go. Wasi landing a few shots off the break there. You know, how much has uh, Mitch Aguiar expended. used expended, yeah, uh, in that first round because he was he was pretty active there, uh, wrestling a lot, staying busy. So, uh, talking about man, he's throwing for the fences. He is. Big jacked up frame, and we've seen that time and time again. A big muscular guy like that, he can expend a lot of oxygen and start to tire out if he doesn't get it in the first round. Well, you know, he just got the takedown there, and it's a little bit different, though. He's uh, Iris Wasi is, is not in, in the, the crossbody position, but rather in full guard. Uh, and he momentarily had uh, the left arm of Aguiar wrapped up there. Sure. So possibly looking to, to work his submission game a little bit from the bottom. Like I said, we talked about it before, and you can't, you know, emphasize enough the type of training partners that he has over there at Alpha Male. And you know they know how to work their sub game. Obviously, usually a lot smaller guys. But I, I guarantee that uh, – Uriah Faber's probably about that size when he's not uh, cutting weight. So <laughs> and, I'm, I'm you know, sure. a tremendous amount of tenacity. I mean, you know, if you're even if he's training with those guys and not beating those guys, he is used to pressure, maintaining that pressure. And so the you know the the pressure of Mitch Aguiar may not weigh as heavily on him as it as it would uh, other regional fighters. I'm sure the whole crew is probably like, come on, you know, we've taught you about this wrestling and the reversals, and they have to be frustrated right now because he can't get out from underneath Mitch Aguiar. He absolutely has to frame. get moving there. Yeah, he's going to have to get off of the bottom and back on top. He landed a few good shots there in the early goings of round two, uh, but again, the pressure of Aguiar uh, just too much. Another fight we're looking forward to, Lou the Titan Polly taking on Daryl Schoonover. I mean, you talk about guys that have been on the national scene for a long time, and they're fighting right here in Greenville, North Carolina. That's pretty exciting to have a fight like that as our co-main Well, you've vet. got an ultimate fighter vet, and then you've got an RFA slash Bellator vet yes, right there. Absolutely. So, and a coach that was on the ultimate fighter. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Now, this is something to keep in mind. You know, this is a, a title fight, so we're looking at five rounds. Four, five, three. Four. It's four, four here in North Carolina. That is a special North Carolina rule. So, you regardless, trust. championship rounds yeah, we're looking at. Yeah, 100%. So. 100%. So, you got to go the distance, you know. And I, and I don't know how much experience uh, uh, Aguiar has. I would assume not too much that early in his career. Right. Oh, that was a nice shot there by Aguiar. Uh, hammer fist. Just a short hammer fist. But, man, you could hear it. Wasi, of course, has been in 19 fights. So, I don't know all the sets right off the top of my head. But I can imagine he's probably been in some of those wars before that have sure. gone into deep rounds. So we'll see if that uh, makes a difference in this fight. Oh, here if, we go. Uh, it looks like he's trying to, to work some wrist control, maybe looking for that triangle choke. You know, and that's something, you know, if, uh, you know, he really needs to get up and force, even if nothing else, just force the work rate of Mitch Aguiar to continue like that. You know, if he can work his way up and force Aguiar to wrestle for the first two, you know, then perhaps he could come in and, uh, and open up his submission game, even if he is on his back in uh, three and four. Great, Here we go. great defense there by Wasi. He's doing a great job there on the bottom. Obviously not a great position in the sure. eyes of the judges, but he's done a great well, job of it, avoiding the big strike. He appears to be tying up the arms there of Aguiar, which is going to look to draw the stand-up. I'm sure there's that triangle that we talked about, looking watch, for it. Got to watch out. Looking for it. I mean, he's Aguiar I, is tired Agu now, 100%. Well, and Aguiar wise to that triangle, though, but it's again, as, as the rounds go in uh, deeper, He's got to really watch it because, uh, you know, as, as it appears, uh, Andres Wazi has not really expended that much energy. He's taking a little bit of a beating there at the end of round one, but, you know, he's not do having to do a whole lot. Aguiar's doing it all. That's round two and for you. we get into round three here as Wayne Spinola brings these fighters back to the center. Here we go. 
Mitch Aguiar, Idris Wasi, oh, our first nice, fight of the night. Nice jab. Hello. Nice combination by Idris. And again, Aguiar moving forward. This time he gets shucked off momentarily. Watch out for oh. that striking and Wasi moving backwards and landing a big left hand. Oh, and ends up on his back. Exactly. It's that fatigue you were talking about. He's tired, right he's there. tired Casey. Now let's check out the guard of Mitch Aguiar. Maybe he's got a few, uh, you know, everybody talks about the wrestling. Maybe he's got something uh, up his sleeve here. Yep, very, very possible. Kenny Johnson and the crew over there, you know that they're working subs with him. We'll see if he has anything from the bottom. Wasi feeling a little bit better here, and maybe that was the whole plan the whole time to kind of let him expend that energy and work from there. So if we're going four rounds and we get uh, Aguiar the first two, and let's say that Idris Wasi takes the second two, who wins the fight? That's a good question. For the title, who takes it? Gotta, come on, man. we got to have a champion. Yeah, we got to have a winner. Need, you need to go talk to our friends from North Carolina about that. <laughs> no, I've never understood it, Casey. It's, oh, nice shot there. I've been working Carolina events for the last three, four years, and I've never got the four-round thing, but that's what they've decided on. So that's what it is. Well, it's Mitch Aguiar seen. not looking to be very active off his back. He's not looking to stand up. Perhaps he's looking for a little bit of a rest. Uh, Idris Wasi not really pushing the action all that hard. He actually needs to get, get moving a little bit uh, to avoid the stand up. He's in a good spot here. He can take this round if he keeps active. No, I mean, it hasn't been the most exciting fight for the fans yet, but, uh, but we still have uh, this round and another round. So well, I'll tell you this, up. though, man. Uh, Mitch Aguiar, when he's on his feet, he is throwing for the fences. Yes, he, he is, is moving forward. I mean, we spent some time on the ground, but really when they're on their feet, the, both of these guys are uh, throwing some serious leather out there. Big boys. Yeah, without a doubt. Big time middleweights, big time. These guys are jacked up. A little smaller in stature, but they're jacked up. Oh, here we go, here we go, just as we uh -oh. He's got a whole question the, the ground game or the, the guard game of Mitch Aguiar, a beautiful transition into the arm bar, but look, man, his mouth is wide open. Aguiar needs to keep his hands up. He is in danger of catching some serious damage here if he does not keep that chin tucked. Casey, it looks like he's popping uh, up there on his left leg. His left leg kind of gave a little bit. Yeah. I don't know if he may have a limp. If something had happened in that exchange, but it looks as like well it kind of went some, out from underneath it. As well as some blood uh, from the nose of Idris Wasi. But at this time, he is on top right now, so he is scoring points. If he can uh, work a little ground and pound, maybe a sub attempt, he may steal the round again. And if he yeah. gets three rounds, he, he then will have to move because these are short rounds. We must be uh, nearing the end, so uh, he's going to have to get busy if he's going to take this one. Of course, we are set for September 12th, I believe, right back here at the Greenville Convention Center. So Next Level Fight Club 3, stay tuned for that. Check out the website, the Facebook, and all of our social media links, and uh, you'll be able to find out about the card, all the big action, and we'll be bringing right back here to Greenville. The referee letting him throw down tonight. He's letting him fight. Uh, yeah. He doesn't want to stand it up uh, uh, unless absolutely necessary. These guys seem to be staying busy enough yeah, absolutely. Uh, to keep the action there on the ground. This is great for Mitch Aguiar. I mean, Idris Wasi has to be. A here we bit go. More Looking for that triangle again, man. That is certainly his move here. If he ends up on the bottom, I, I'd say he'd have to do something next round to finish this fight because Mitch Aguiar may just take three rounds. He may take the the this last round, but I think Idris Wasi probably did more uh, for longer. But it looks like he's trying to close it out. Aguiar trying to close it out big here. But we will, we will see. I, I definitely, if you're in the corner of Idris Wasi, you're saying, let's finish the fight. Two tough teams going against each other. Fearless fighting system. Alpha male. Who's going to come out on top? What a night of fights here in Greenville. And we are just getting started, people. Big props to everybody tuning in here live. Again, watching these great fights. Yeah, Idris Wasi looking the more poised. But man, when Aguiar comes forward, he delivers He's here. He's a seal, brother. He's relentless. Nice leg kick there on the part. Both fighters wide Aguiar. open mouse right now, man. They're both sucking air as we go into this fourth round. You know, it almost appeared in that last round that Idris Wasi just conceded to ground to his back. You know, if he had battled that just a little bit, he would have secured that. Sure. That for, oh, here we go. From back the position oh. from Idris Wasi looking for the guillotine choke right here. If he doesn't get it, he's in a tough spot, I though. There's no way he gets that case. And so he slips no it. Way. Mitch no Aguiar way. slips it. 
too strong, too powerful as Aguiar. Wasi is not going to get a guillotine choke from right there. As you can see, the fight back to the ground here. Aguiar on top. Wasi's going to have to do some work and get out from underneath him. Otherwise, it's going to be a decision victory all day long for Mitch Aguiar. Absolutely, it is. The ball is in the court of Idris Wasi. He will have to get off of his back or make a submission happen here. Otherwise, I see it going the way of Mitch Aguiar. Ground and pound here. Again, Andrew Swasi tying up the right arm of Mitch Aguiar, possibly looking for that triangle choke. He's he's attacked it several times. Unsuccessful in his efforts, though. Mitch Aguiar continuing to work that ground and pound. Pulling that head down as Idris Wasi is listening to his coaches. And Aguiar again really drawing high with those left uh, punches to the head. He needs to again watch out for that triangle choke coming through. Oh, here we go. And I'm going to make a correction there, Casey. Uh, it is five rounds, but it's four-minute rounds. That's the difference. Ah. Yeah, that's where the four comes in there. So it's I five four-minute rounds. So uh, they go into a little deeper waters. Not only do they have the extra round, but it's a longer round as well as they get them ready for the pro ranks. I stand corrected, Mr. Oxenheim. I told you. <laughs> I told you you would not listen to me. You never want to listen. It has been a ground battle from the beginning. We've seen flashes of a stand-up war and of some big strikes. But this has been the story of the fight here, Casey, is Mitch Aguiar controls the top position. And again, the guard of Idris Wasi just not active enough to get the job done here so far uh, in, in round four. He's really trying to stabilize that right arm of Mitch Aguiar unsuccessfully. he got such a strong guy, he's just not willing to give anything up. And it's hard to pull a sub on a guy. Oh, here we go, here we go. Looking for it again. Kind of in a bad position here. Yeah, it's, it's difficult. Say. You know, Aguiar doing what he has to do. He's very savvy and, and understands the submission game. So while the setup appears to be there, you know, he may be just drawing the efforts of uh, Idris Wasi and, and the – and this is a situation where referee is kind of dictating this fight because there's been times where maybe it could have been stood up, but Wayne's letting them work the ground a little bit, and it just kind of differs referee to referee. Sure. And it can make a big difference on how the fight goes. That's why going into a fight, you you know, you can't, you know, count on these stand-ups. Sure. You know, some, some referees, like you say, will stand them up in a New York minute. So you got to be ready to hit the takedowns if you want it on the ground, but at the same time, if you're the guy on his back, you've got to be ready to get up on your own court. And there we go. Crown wow. That cage awareness this is a guy with 19 fights on his amateur record right now. So he's been there before. He's going to have to use that veteran Here we go. acumen. Continues. Here comes Aguiar again. again. He's going to go to his back. And Casey. the takedown happens yet again. Mitch Aguiar on top. Wow. And it appears that he's looking to secure this fight, man, because he's got one heck of a chin. You know, he's uh, uh, Idris Wasi has landed some some serious shots, and he just walks right through. Has it slowed him down a bit? Well, you think about, I mean, Casey, you think about some of the stuff these SEALs have to do. <laughs> I mean, they're on a whole new level. I mean, you see how these guys fight train. Right now he's just slamming his head into the ground. But, I mean, that is some of the worst – training acumen all the tests that they have to do are just absolutely amazing that these guys do what they do so it doesn't surprise well, me a yeah. bit that Aguiar does what he does the, you know? these guys uh, are used to operating with pinpoint precision what, uh, absolutely yeah. tired all the time yeah. that's what they train to do and they drop them off in the ocean in the middle of the <laughs> ocean and say okay we'll be back you know what I mean crazy well, stuff. he is certainly taking Idris Wasi into deep waters here <laughs> no in complete intended. control of this fight <laughs> And it looks like he's going to move on to become the next level. Easy, brother. Middleweight champion. Easy, brother. Two and a half minutes left here. Unless Idris Wasi can get his acting gear and, uh, and make this thing happen. Once again, guys, stay tuned. September 12th, we'll be right back here live on your computer and live here in Greenville, North Carolina for next level fight club number three. 
look forward to announcing some big matchups for that one as Mitch Aguiar continues to punish, just slamming the head of it. Just watch, see, this is just raw power, Casey. You know, and, and I mentioned earlier, it looked like that uh, Mitch Aguiar was, you know, sucking wind a little bit, moving into the third round, and now he's here in the in the fifth round, slamming uh, Idris Wasi all over the place. You know, making a bold statement there for the judges. I agree. Props to all of our big sponsors here at Next Level for coming on here. Fearless Fighting, Greenville Nissan, Hometown Harley-Davidson, Paralectronics, and all the fantastic sponsors, Import Services. Thank you for help making this event happen. Carolina MMA as well as we continue to watch the uh, amazing top ability here at Mitch Aguiar. He just isn't giving up any sort of room. Electronic Solutions, Tiebreaker Sports Bar, our, our after party spot. You know, everybody comes together. Not only is it Lamont Chapel and Brittany and Chris Connor and all this crew, it's our sponsors as well to yeah, make this happen. Undoubtedly. And me in, in some, you as well, kind of. You know, I mean, you definitely add something to the broadcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just, car I'm just carrying the load. Well, I just I do the best that I can. You <laughs> That's know? all you can do. That's all you can do. Mitch Aguiar doing the best he can, and he's doing real well tonight, man. Yeah. He has controlled the whole fight. Pushing it. Uh, playing the fight safe, but you know what? It was what see. He, uh, he had his moments. He had uh, the opportunity. Uh, the fight is winding down now, the, however. Is. And, uh, you know, unless he can really pull something out the – at the last minute, it looks like we're going to have us a new champion, and his name is Mitch Aguiar. No doubt. And I, and I think we're going to have a lot of fans that are happy about that if it does indeed come to pass. A lot of his uh, Navy SEAL uh, brothers are in attendance as well, so they, they were making a lot of noise. Mitch Aguiar doing work. Excited guy to have as one of our placeholders, one of you our titles. You can see it in the face of it as well. See, you know, he's, he's done. He's in survival yeah. mode. He... Uh, he would rather be here, uh, anywhere else but here right that now. That being said, this is a this is a very last-minute opponent. Uh, I do know that for a fact because I know they were looking for an opponent for Aguiar. Everybody was pulling out. So props to Wasi for showing up on short notice. One oh, here we go. And flying from the other coast to get over here. That's I mean, that, true. I mean, that takes a lot Undoubtedly. out of it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five championship rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges score this fight. 50 to 45 for your winner by unanimous decision and new next level middleweight champion, Mitch Aguiar.